audio engineers have a task called ringing out the room, which involves finding the frequencies in a room that naturally create feedback and then applying very narrow filters to attenuate the sound signal at those frequencies to avoid feedback. Well, QSIS has a way of automatically ringing out the room using the Notch Feedback Controller, or NFC component. You'll find it in the schematic library under Equalizers and Filters. And there's your Notch Feedback Controller. It has one input and one output, and is intended to be placed in your signal flow just before it feeds the channel of the amplifier. In fact, each channel of each amplifier in the room should have its own NFC component. And if you have a mono signal that is being converted to a stereo, like I have, you should place the NFC in the mono signal just before it splits. Once your NFC is in place, run your design to the core. Your microphones and loudspeakers should be placed in your venue the way they would be during a live event. And the gain structure for your microphones should be set to how you normally would have them. Now double click the NFC component to see the control panel. Here you'll see a graph that displays the full frequency range and a few parameters that you can adjust. On the left, you can bypass the component, you can mute the audio signal, or you can adjust its gain. At the top, you can adjust the number of fixed filters and dynamic filters, as well as clear any that you've created. A fixed filter is one based on the acoustics of the room, which you will create when the room is quiet and leave it in place. A dynamic filter is one that is needed as a result of the acoustics during the live event. These filters will be created as necessary, and when they are no longer required, they will enter a standby mode before being cleared. Fixed filters will be indicated by orange triangles on the graph, and dynamic filters will be indicated by blue triangles on the graph. You can select the width of your notches as one-fifth of an octave, one-tenth, one-twentieth, or one-eightieth of an octave, and you can adjust the threshold at which feedback is registered. You can also adjust the minimum and maximum frequency range of your dynamic filters, which you can adjust either with these fields or by adjusting these blue handles on the graph. Finally, you can adjust the reclaim time, which is how long a dynamic filter waits after not being used before it is returned to the available filter count. To tune your system, begin by moving the threshold down to around negative 46 dB. Set the fixed filter count to 6 and make sure your dynamic filter count is at 0. Then lower the gain on the notch feedback controller. We're going to raise the gain of this input, so you may want to start at the source. Then slowly raise the gain until the system begins to feed back and the fixed filters activate. Now you can lower your gain back to where you'll have it normally set for your live event and raise your threshold a bit around negative 40 dB. Count how many fixed filters were activated and change the fixed filter count to that number. So I've got one, two, three, four. This has made the NFC properly tuned to your room's acoustics. And now you can raise your dynamic filters to handle any new feedback that occurs during your event. A good number to start with is around six. If you discover that too many filters are being set during your event, you may want to raise the threshold level. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.